I bought a four probe oscilloscope a while back and two of the probes came. Well, they weren't any good. They wouldn't adjust. And so a little bit of, you know, reasoning and I figured out it was probably the uh, trimmer capacitor on this little board. Uh, yeah, opened it up and the circuit is very simple. It's, uh, we'll get in close and look, but it's just a trimmer capacitor and two resistors. You can measure the resistors quite easily. Those were correct. So, you know, the capacitor wasn't showing any, any change when I uh, tried to adjust it. Uh, so I ordered uh, some new trimmer capacitors. These are 30 picofarad, which is what's in there. I've already tested them on my little tester, so they're all good. So I'm going to swap these out, put them back in there, and uh, we'll see if that fixes the problem. To remove this little circuit board, all I had to do was desolder the connection right there. And there's one right there. Remove the little screw that's right there, and then it slips out the side. You may have to pull the uh, BNC connector, the spring out here a little bit to get it to slide out. But yeah, that's it. It comes out, uh, it takes a little bit of work, but that's not too bad. Okay, so let's uh, get in even closer. This is even a better view. You can see the screw hole right there. And this is the uh, center line of the coax cable. Got a little melty, but it'll be okay. This is the center of the uh, BNC connector. It's going to be right out there. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, a little bit blurry. Um, and then the problem child, which is this uh, capacitor right here, which I started cutting apart on the board to see what was going wrong inside there. And yeah, we can uh, we can see the components on the inside of there. I'll show you those in a second and see what was uh, why this was defective. This is a healthy capacitor, trimmer capacitor right there. And you can see the uh, Phillips head screwdriver slots in the top of it. And when you turn those, it changes capacitance. And what it's doing is there's a disc like this. That's what we were just seeing with a slot in it. And underneath it is another disc. And these two should be attached. And when you turn this, this disc rotates. You can see it's half metalized. And the more that is exposed to another piece on the bottom, the more capacitance you get. And the less exposed, the less capacitance. And these two things separated so that when you turn this, this was no longer moving. So yeah, just a defective part. I mean, it's literally came out of the box that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, uh, this what's left of this. I start cutting it apart, this uh, little cage and just unsolder it. It's got two leads and then I'm going to solder in the new part and we'll reassemble it and uh, test it and see how it goes. I removed the old one, soldered the new one in place. On the bottom, you don't want those legs sticking out of there um, because, well, two reasons. First of all, the little pointy things at high frequency will cause weird effects. And second of all, there's not a whole lot of clearance. Um, right in there between the uh, BNC connector and the bottom of the board. So yeah, you want to get that as low profile as possible. And you can see we've got this screwed in here and that'll help hold it in place while I'm soldering. So I need to solder this little junction right there. And this will be the hardest one for me is getting that thing soldered back down without burning up my capacitor, my trimmer capacitor there. And then you can see that we've got space, we've got clearance between the BNC connector and the bottom of that board. Okay, so let me go solder this up and we'll reassemble it and we'll give her a test. Here we are. I've already tuned this up a bit, but uh, you can see that the edge of the, the corner of the wave here is pretty square. And to demonstrate that we actually made a difference, we'll put this in here and detune it a little bit. You can see that changing right there. And then we will put it back and then I will close up the connector down, down, there we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah. And then I will uh, put the link on how to open and close these BNC connectors in the description below. Okay. Well, that was it for this uh, exercise in repairing a uh, probe with a faulty capacitor. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your electronic experimentation.